Mountain biking out here is really big because they've got all of these different trails on public lands and there's tons of different levels of difficulty. Having like the right kind of equipment always makes a huge difference. So something like a mountain bike, you want it to have good suspension, good tires. When you have the right type of bikes for the right type of terrain, it helps you so much more. We both have got our mountain biking shorts on, some nice padding down here. We got our helmets, got some gloves for a nice grip. Make sure the hands don't get too tired. We're set. I got a need for speed. Let's go. Right on. We're on the Bangtail Divide Trail, which is about seven miles long. And we have a thousand feet to climb before descending about another 2,500. <laughs> you gotta love sports like mountain biking where you're able to take in the beauty of nature while also getting a good thrill. This right here has gotta be reason 1005 why I love the state of Montana. I mean, so many of the trails around here, you have so many different options and all of them put you right in the middle of these mountains and these beautiful forests. So we're going uphill a little bit here. Hopefully we're knocking off some of that thousand foot uphill that we're expecting. Got some rocks here. Oh, whoa. As we say, the uphill just makes the downhill all that more glorious. What you want to do is remain seated and maintain that momentum by being locked into the bike. It's actually much more efficient energy management. It's the rocks that make the uphill so much harder. Yeah. That uphill is tough, man. That was pretty much straight up right there. But the plateau's coming and we're gonna be going down. Let's hope so. Got the crazy mountains back there. They are one of the most remote places around here. That's saying something when you're in Montana. Totally, the word crazy describes them pretty perfectly. The crazies, as they're often called, are considered an island range because they stand separate from the other mountain ranges. They're home to the largest population of wolverines in the world. These little guys look like a small bear, but they're actually the largest member of the weasel family. Wolverines are tough. They'll sometimes attack animals many times their size. She's flattening out. Woohoo! The view from up here is just incredible. You can see over into the bridgers right near Sacagawea Peak where we were yesterday. 2,000 some feet of downhill is waiting for us and it's literally like having a roller coaster through the mountain. All right, zippity doo -dah. So we're just starting the downhill and it feels incredible. <laughs> Woo! So much better than pedaling up, I'll tell you that, although there are tons of rocks. Whoa. Ho. Hey -o. oh. Woo. -hoo. Such a crazy feeling to just be flying through the mountains. Okay, a little, little rocky here. A little rocky and a tight turn. Now we're coming to switchbacks, man. Everyone remembers the story of the tortoise and the hare. Well, that's the story of mountain biking. For the most part, slow and steady wins the race. Get a little speed here. Woo! Aha! Oh. Woohoo! This loose rock is pretty hazardous. It just likes to just roll out from underneath your tires. And it's why I'm going slow when I come to those sections. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know why making noises like that helps me, but it does. It does.
Every time I get into a forest like this, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up a little bit because I just know that there's so much wildlife out there. The noise is key, having our bear spray. This is Montana after all. And as if on cue, this guy peeks out from the forest. Bears love the woods, black bears really love it. Lucky for us, we're making a lot of noise and the bear knows we're here. He's keeping a safe distance and we keep moving. It's all good. A sport like mountain biking is such a great way to be locked in to what you're doing right here and right now. You can't afford to be distracted. It really places you in a moment that is just for you. And I need more of those in my life. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.